I think that's maybe the most interesting difference between the institutions which the, the US created after the Second World War, which have been absolutely central to, to the peace and prosperity in the late 20th century, and the new institutions which have been developed since the end of the Cold War, which will be central to, to dealing with a globalised world. And there's a big difference between the United Nations um, and the, the other Bretton Woods institutions, which were largely about protecting uh, the sovereignty of states and protecting them from from inter, from external interference in their inter, in their affairs to stop war between countries largely, and then newer institutions like the World Trade Organization, the International Criminal Court, the Kyoto Treaty, and the the Emissions Trading Scheme, which which the European Union have developed, which are not about trying to to protect countries from external interference, but are in fact trying to regulate the behaviour of countries and very much about interfering with how they run themselves. And those new institutions are modelled uh, and inspired by the experience which European countries have had within their own continent. And I think that those are the sort of institutions which, which capture the, the future and, in the, and we, we are going to need to create a whole series of, of new institutions to deal with the problems that we're facing now, to deal with nuclear proliferation, to deal with environmental uh, catastrophe. And uh, I think that uh, the older institutions created after World War II are either going to have to be dramatically reformed so that they look more like uh, this new wave of institutions or they will kind of collapse and be superseded by, by entirely new institutions.